This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Let's get right into the news for tonight. Okay, uh, let's wrap this up. But we're still going to do another story before the night is over. So we're going to talk about Cameron versus Phase on Love. Now, Phase on Love was on a podcast and he uh, talked about Jay Z and Jay Z not really being from the street and fake selling and all that stuff, which isn't true. Jay Z probably did something. He was under DeHaven. He did some stuff. Doesn't mean he was the biggest dealer in New York City. Most rappers definitely exaggerate, you know, like Fat Joe and all these guys. They all exaggerate how active they were. But they were active of of some sort, okay? But it doesn't mean they were the biggest person in the street and they were the connect and all this stuff. Like, of course, they're playing a role with music. And Cameron made that point. He said, hey, it wasn't totally fake, man. Like, you're tripping. Like, we had to do what we had to do to get in, you know? A lot of people did. Prodigy Havoc, they did little stuff. They weren't, they, they weren't like, you know, Core Mega or somebody, but they were doing little things, you know? Anyways, Faison Love didn't take kindly to that. And I commend Cameron for saying something because he's not like the biggest Jay-Z guy, but he's going to call something out if it's wrong, right? So then he goes off on camera and saying, oh, I dream of kissing 50 Cent. Hope Jinjo's doesn't hear about it. He's saying that like Cameron wears pink and he's suspect. Then he says Cameron's a Cameron suspect out here wearing pink. Um, Jay Z's our man. He called it D set. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> that kind of set. Uh, called him a her. So then Cameron responds, <laughs> and he puts up a suspect photo uh, video of Phase on Love, like a audition for a uh, you know suspect part and he says now before i post this i have no problem with the lgbtq community i have people from this community and my family friends work with loved ones i respect all walks of life that being said phase on love posted some memes of me being suspect which i'm not but this is isn't a meme f boy (laughs) this is really you you got some explaining to do is this the role you want? I dig it. I ain't judging you, though. You ain't on trial. Somebody got to get him in Brokeback Mountain, though, too, please. I don't think he faking it. I did see someone creep behind you in this video. Just asking. Yo, Cameron is hilarious. You don't want to go uh, back and forth with Cameron. He's very good at snapping, and I would never want to like get into a Twitter battle with him. Him and 50 Cent would give each other a run for their money. And they did back in the day when they had a little fake beef going on with each other. Uh, Anyways, that was funny. Then we got Gucci Man. Gucci Man and Jeezy uh, and T.I. T.I. and Jeezy were talking about the Gucci Man thing. And they were like, T.I. was like, oh, you guys met in a sushi restaurant? That's gangsta, man. Like, it's T.I. is weird man now Jeezy really is about that life and Gucci man is just crazy man you just don't want to mess with him he's definitely just he's out there okay but he's a good guy but he's out there T.I. is always playing a role to me I like T.I. he's one of my favorite rappers don't get me wrong but he's always playing a role I don't think he under 100% knows who he is that's what's sad because like I really am a big fan of his music Anyways, that doesn't matter. I like the podcast. Him and Jeezy are good friends, and it was a good, the best Jeezy podcast I've ever seen. They were talking about the Rick Ross beef, how it was really over nothing, and it was over nothing. Around that time, Rick Ross was picking beefs with people just to get hot again. He was cold as he was cold as ice. <laughs> he was cold as ice before that BMF track came out. I'm telling you, when that came out, before that, he started a beef with Fifty Cent that was over nothing. He said he didn't like the way Fifty Cent looked at him one time, and with the Jeezy thing. He had a problem because um, the whole Big Meech thing. I think it was something like that. It was something really dumb. I remember I, I, I love Ross as an artist and I like the way he moves as a person, but his stories are horrible. Okay. His, he, he's playing a role. I can see through that, but he's still one of my favorite artists. You know, I, I just see he's a character and that's what he is i can accept people for who they are 
Speaking of Gucci Man, Mulatto, whatever her name is, she reenacted the uh, Roderick Davis versus the State album. That was a little trash to me, but he liked it, of course, because it's paying homage. Timbaland questioned if Bow Wow has 20 songs for a versus battle. Now, Timbaland and Swiss Beats are struggling. They're scrambling for new uh, versus battles because they broke a deal with Apple, got millions of dollars for that deal, allegedly. And nobody else is getting any of that money, just them. They they took advantage of a good feel-good moment and turned it into a money bag for themselves. Um, that's the only problem I have with it. Yeah, other than that, I like it. It's two people enjoying, uh, commending each other, and, you know, highlighting the best records of their career. Um, Bow Wow definitely has 20 records. Uh, he said, Timbaland, you must be drinking too much Ciroc. 20 Timbo, better stop playing with me. I can give you 10 before I hit my third album. Bow Wow, the Bow Wow era was nothing to play with. Uh, let the people tell you about me, though. It's true. Bow Wow has the records, uh, for sure. He had a nice run, <laughs> okay? Anyways, uh, I'm getting sick of the versus thing. You guys can like it. I, I'm just getting a little sick of it because it's... I don't like the business behind it with Swiss Beats and Timberland. Other than that, I like it. The DMX and Snoop one was feel good. I like it when it's a feel good moment. The Ludacris and Nelly one was a little awkward. Some of them are really good though, like the uh, Jill Scott one with Erica Badu. That was great. Some of them are feel good move uh, moments. Am I gonna sit through three hours of one? Probably not. But I did enjoy about an hour of the DMX and Snoop one. It was cool. I thought it was a bad matchup, but other than that, I enjoyed it. Anyways, guys, I'll grab another video for you in a minute. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. I'll check you guys next one. I appreciate you guys. Peace.